I was watching BBC Planet Earth 4K with my parents and the question came up, what really is 4K? And so let's try to dive into it and we'll see a little bit why 4K is a misleading naming standard. For many decades, television resolution and broadcast standards were defined by their vertical resolution. And so this was the number of alternating black and white horizontal lines that could be clearly seen during a broadcast. So NTSC was traditionally 525 lines, and then over in Europe where they used PAL, it was 576 lines. If you fast forward to the era of flat panel displays, you enter into 720p and 1080p as two more standards. So 720p was a screen resolution of essentially 1,280 horizontal pixels by 720 vertical pixels. And 1080p, which was full HD, had that resolution of 1,920 horizontal by 1,080 vertical pixels. So as you can see, this advertising standards of 720p and 1080p really was following the convention of counting the number of vertical rows in the screen size. 4K becomes deceptive because you would think a 4K display has four times more vertical lines than the 1080p screen, but this is not so. And that's because the true screen resolution of a 4K display is 3,840 by 2,160 pixels. And so what this means is that the term 4K is not using the vertical resolution. If it did, we would call it a 2160p display, right? Because there's 2,160 vertical pixels. Instead, what the 4K display is using is now the horizontal number 4K is approximately close to 3,840 pixels, and that's how wide the display is. And we see the same thing with the 8K marketing. An 8K screen has a resolution, a screen size of 7,680 by 4,230 pixels. So we see again, 8K is looking at now the horizontal number. And so it is a rather clever marketing strategy to switch from using the vertical screen resolution to the horizontal. And, well, is this deceptive marketing? I think it's really, to be honest, a little bit unclear to me. The further you go into trying to understand the history of television display resolutions and computer display resolutions, um, the difference between cathode ray tubes for TVs versus computers, and understanding what a pixel is or what a display resolution is, it just gets complicated. Um, and I think, though, one interesting side note is just to look at, for instance, how the resolution uh, changed when we had the introduction of computer monitors for broadcast. So NTSC, traditional broadcast, had 525 lines. And then what happened was that on computers, because computer monitors had a higher screen resolution, for instance, think of a 1280 by 1024 monitor, what happened was the NTSC 525-line broadcast was kind of converted into a new D1 standard which was an equivalent frame size on a monitor of uh, 720 by 486 pixels. And so if you were doing video editing, let's say in the early 2000s or burning NTSC DVDs at that time, you'd remember the number was 720 by 480 as your frame size. And at that time, you might have also been confused about the number 720 because you were used to seeing 720 as the horizontal number of pixels in a frame. And then when 720p came introduced as a new thing then, 720p was actually using the vertical number of pixels to obtain its name. And so it gets confusing. But anyway, that's the difference between a 4K versus 1080p versus 720p. It switches the naming standard between 1080p, which is a vertical rows, to using 4K, which is now counting the horizontal rows.